This is the news you need to know. Wildfire season has become an almost yearly guarantee. Wildfire smoke should be taken seriously, especially if you have outside seating. Nearby wildfires mean cities can be covered in dense smoke, creating unsafe conditions outdoors. Washington Hospitality Association has created a toolkit with everything you need to know about wildfire smoke, including the new emergency rules set in place by the Department of Labor and Industries on July 16th. Visit wahospitality.org to find the toolkit and make a plan for smoky days. More fallout from the workforce shortage. Not only is hospitality affected, but supporting industries like trucking and warehousing are also being impacted, which is causing even more problems for hospitality businesses. Several hundred small restaurants in Southwest Washington were recently notified they would no longer receive food delivery service from their current vendor. Many operators were left scrambling to find alternatives. There is a possibility this could happen in other areas of the state. Restaurant operators should reach out to their food suppliers to see if potential delivery disruptions may be coming. Regardless, businesses should have solid backup plans in case of any changes to their regular supply chain. While last year is one we'd like to forget, knowing the order of events, from closures to reopenings, could be helpful when applying for aid. The Washington Hospitality Association has made the timeline easy to find. Members have asked for a rundown of Washington state closures, occupancy rules, and reopening dates that affected the hospitality industry during the pandemic. We've compiled that information on the Coronavirus Resource Hub at hub.wahospitality.org. This information is helpful if you are applying for the Employee Retention Tax Credit and more. The Coronavirus Resource Hub is updated daily with even more resources, so check back often. That's the news you need to know. I'm Sabrina. Thank you for watching.